Let's look at how to correctly write abbreviations and acronyms inside of class names and variable names. As a simple rule, if a word consists of more than two letters, then you shouldn't write all of these letters in uppercase. Instead, only write the first letter in uppercase of this word and the other letters you write in lowercase. Let's look at another example. The word JSON consists of more than two letters and therefore we should only write the first letter of this word in uppercase and the remaining letters of this word in lowercase. There's also another simple rule. If a single word consists only of two letters, then both of these letters should be written in an uppercase in case this word is an acronym. And on the other hand, these letters should not be written in uppercase and only the first letter should be written uppercase, the second in lowercase in case this word is an abbreviation. And we will learn the difference between an acronym and abbreviation. So this is an acronym and should be written in uppercase if it has two letters and this is an abbreviation and therefore it should be written not in uppercase and every time if a word has more than two letters then it always should be written only the first letter in uppercase and the remaining letters should be written in lowercase. Let's also look at the difference between abbreviations and acronyms. An abbreviation is a single word that is written in a shorter form. So this identification word is written in a shorter form ID and therefore this is an abbreviation. The same for Mr. Mr. is this long word and it is written in a shorter form. So we take only the M and the R and this is then the short form the abbreviation. On the other hand, acronyms consist of multiple words such as internet protocol and from each word we take the first letter I and P and this is then the acronym. And the same also for API. Here it consists of multiple words, application programming interface and from each word we take the first letter A, P and I and this results in the acronym API. Let's also look at a practical example. This ID is an abbreviation of the word identification and all abbreviations should be written like normal words. So this abbreviation ID should also match the upper camel case notation that is used for class names and therefore the first letter is only in uppercase and all the remaining parts of this word are in lowercase. And also if you use then this abbreviation at the second word, the same thing. The first letter of this new word is in uppercase and the remaining part in lowercase. For variables, methods, functions and other class members, all abbreviations should be written like normal words. So the variable name always follows the lower camel case notation, which means that the first letter is in lowercase and all the other words start then with an uppercase letter. And therefore our abbreviation here doesn't make any difference. It just follows the lower camel case notation. Let's also look at acronyms. Here we have the word IP and IP is an acronym since it consists of two words, internet and protocol. And therefore we should write this whole word in uppercase letters. On the other hand, for variables, we use the lower camel case notation and therefore it is a must that the first letter starts with a lower case letter. And here it doesn't make sense to make the second word then uppercase so that it matches with this acronym notation that everything is in uppercase. And therefore make sure to put both of these letters in lower case, even if it is an acronym. On the other hand, if you put this acronym as a second word and not as the first word, then you still capitalize each letter of this word. Another important rule is that you should avoid abbreviations. So instead of writing num, use the long form number and don't use the short form this abbreviation num. Same for value, use value the long form instead of this abbreviation and short form val. Let's look at another example. Instead of this abbreviation rects, you should write rectangles. Always use the longer form instead and avoid the abbreviation. There's only one special rule where you can use this abbreviation over this long form. And this is when the abbreviation is more widely used than the long form. So ID is widely used inside the programming community and therefore you can use the short form for this word. The same for Mr. Here, Mr. is not that much written like this. More people write it like this and therefore you should prefer to use the short form and the abbreviation in these cases where the term is well known throughout the community. Let's apply the knowledge we have learned. Here we have two words. 
JSON and API, and both of them are acronyms. So JSON is an acronym, it consists of multiple words, and also API is an acronym, it consists of multiple words. However, in this case, this extra knowledge that you have doesn't matter, because if a word consists more of two letters, then it shouldn't be capitalized anyway. So this is wrong. You should never capitalize a word with more than two letters. Instead, write these words like normal words. And here we use the upper camel case notation for our class name. Therefore, write them like normal words. For method names and variable names, etc., we have here the same case. We don't capitalize this word since we only capitalize words that have only two letters and therefore only write it like this. Let's look at the next case. Here, don't write something like input output stream, since input output, therefore we have an acronym that is widely used, which is called IO. And since it is an acronym with two letters, therefore we also write it in uppercase letters. Inside variable names, our acronym is written in lowercase letters, since the variable name should be always written in lower camel case notation, which means the very first letter should be written in lowercase. And for this reason, we also put the second letter directly in lowercase, even if it is an acronym. So we write it in lowercase, this acronym, if it is the first word. If we put an acronym as a second word into our variable name, then we capitalize this whole word. Let's look at the next example. Here we have hypertext transfer protocol. And this is basically an abbreviation for HTTP and therefore use this short form instead. And since this HTTP word is more than two letters long, therefore we don't capitalize this word. Let's also look at a variable here. HTTP is our acronym. And since this acronym consists of more than two letters, therefore we write it like a normal word. And inside of a variable, you should use the lower camel case notation. Therefore our first word doesn't start with an uppercase and has only a lowercase letter. Let's also look at some more examples. Next, we have a special case database. Database consists of two different words, data and base. Even if it is in most cases written together, database, we still count it as two different words. And therefore it is an acronym and acronym should be always written in uppercase letters if they consist of only two letters. And don't write it like this. Let's also look at a variable. Here a variable, if it is the first word, then we write it in lowercase letters. And if it is as a second word, then we write it in uppercase letters. And the only reason because we do this is because variable name should be written in lower camel case notation. And therefore the very first letter must be a lowercase letter. And for this reason, we also put the second letter as a lowercase letter. However, as a second word, we don't have this limitation anymore. And therefore we can write both of these letters in uppercase. Let's look at the next case. UI is an acronym of user interface. And since UI consists only of two letters. Therefore, we write both letters in uppercase letters in all of these cases. And don't write it like this, that one letter is lowercase. This is simply wrong. And let's also look at some variable names. If UI is the first word, then we write it in lowercase letters, since a variable name should always start with a lowercase letter. And therefore, we put both of them in lowercase. Otherwise, we put it in uppercase if it is the second word and don't write this variable name like this. This would be totally wrong because a variable name should always start with a lowercase letter and also don't write it like this because this doesn't look great. You don't know if it belongs maybe to the next word and therefore only write it like this if it is the very first word. Let's also look at the next case. SQL is an acronym of structured query language. However, this knowledge doesn't matter because this word consists of more than two letters and therefore you shouldn't capitalize this word. You should write it like a normal word. Let's also look at some variables. Here the same thing, since it is an acronym with more than two letters, therefore we should write it like a normal word. And inside of variable names, we use the lower camel case notation. So the very first word is written in lower case letters and don't write anything like this this would be totally wrong for variable names since a variable name should always start with a lowercase letter. Also, if this acronym is used as a second word inside of a variable name, then don't capitalize all of these letters. Instead, write it like this because this word consists of more than two letters and therefore it shouldn't be capitalized. 